What's happening guys? My name is Pseudogram. Today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be playing a game that is relaxing, a game that is calming, a game to soothe your soul and just make you happy and relaxed. Welcome to Among Ripples Shallow Waters. This is a tycoon simulation game about helping the ecosystem by controlling rivers and lakes and things like that. I think. Whatever it is, it's got very calming sounds and visuals and I believe the gameplay will continue in that style. So, story campaign. These people look high as hell. I'm happy you were able to join us on this venture. We'll do our best to show that we are more than capable to assist the lakes in their recovery. We've set up the camp already. We were just waiting for you. This lake has trouble keeping the aquatic animals alive and we need to create a suitable environment for them. It's going to be nice to see these fish get the attention they desperately need. Lachon! Difficulty easy. A small pond with a couple of dace that need more life? What's, what's a dace? I don't know fish. Ah, Melker the ecologist. Okay, so we can move. Whoa. All right, I understand. I can rot- I, I can drag. Q and E rotates. Ah, and I can zoom with this. All right, I understand the controls. The first step is done. I set up a few objectives. You'll see them in the top right corner. Purchase and add dace. I, I don't think I need to help the dace if I have to purchase the dace. That means that I'm taking them from somewhere else and putting them here, but I could do this. Plop some dace right there. Okay, I guess I'm purchasing fish eggs. A breeding ground is necessary for most species in order for them to reproduce. There has to be at least two fish alive and food available for the eggs to spawn and hatch. How am I supposed to have two fish alive if they only come in egg form? I guess we'll give some algae, right? Right? Maybe? Oh, I can buy an actual fishy now. He's so cute. Holy sh- Hello, Mr. Dace. You have such pretty colors. Okay, they're there. I, I did the thing. Increase egg survival chance to perfect. Click the breeding grounds to see what they need. Ah. I need one more reed and some small rocks. What the flip? We hatched a fish. We did it, people. Life has found a way. A reed? Reed. And small rocks. Small rocks. And you will go right there. Did it. Claim. Wait for two day days to breed. Okay, we did that too, apparently. Have a day's population of two individuals of generation four. What? Purchase and add a producer in the lake. What is a producer? I don't give a crap what you guys keep saying. Get off of my screen. I can research perks, apparently. Okay. But there's not a whole lot here. It, do it doesn't really say anything. Okay, they don't have perks yet. This one says that it uh, produces a high amount of something. Maybe maybe that's a producer? I'm just gonna wait until the other one's done. We're, we're just gonna play the waiting game. We're gonna relax and enjoy the pretty calming music and fish being born and it's done. A star unlocked, well done. You've unlocked a star objective. Okay, I'll, I'll keep going, I think. Have an ecosystem of four different organisms at the same time. So I can put whatever I want in here, but I have to use green stuff. I have 44 of those. I guess I can do that. Okay, let's do some perch. Let's place a breeding ground right here off to the side of the dace. What does it need? Two grass and one redhead grass. So we'll add some grass. Boom. And is that, is that close enough? Yeah. <laughs> Breaking the rules. And one redhead grass, which is just a stick. There we go. Now you're, now you're perfect. Okay, also for that to work, we need to add in some actual fish. So, uno and dos, and voila! We have a breeding ground for perch! I feel so... successful. That I apparently turned French. Uh -huh. I guess I'm just gonna do, do more fish, because I, I still don't know what a producer is. So, crayfish is apparently a decomposer and it, I, I, I don't hatch those. So, I guess I'm just gonna slap a guy there and we did it we we did we have four ecosystems of different organisms and stuff you crazy son of a bitch hey i got two stars impressive purchase and add a producer what is a producer god damn it the producer is the algae 
Okay, it doesn't count because I did it before, not when it wanted me to do it now. Okay, so if I just do that, I did it. Boom. Unlock and purchase a crayfish. I had already done that, but I can just buy another one and yay, I did that one too. I'm gonna get three stars on this. I'm gonna be the best ecosystem manager ever. Keep oxygen at a high level for a while. Okay. Guess I'm just gonna chill then. This is such a relaxing experience, I can spend my time on Twitter. I forgot I don't like Twitter. I can lower the terrain along the lake edge? Oh, I, I can just... Oh. And they are done! I still gotta do more. Expand your lake into another lake by terraforming. Oh, so you actually want me to use the whole terrain thing. I guess we're just gonna try and erase this little section right here. Does that count as a lake or do I have to go to like a big thing? I, I think we're just gonna shoot for that one. We're, we're gonna try and erase that one. So if it's correct, we just ploop, ploop, and plume. I did it. I'm amazing. I am the best at removing land and destroying the ecosystem by creating new ecosystems, which is actually good for the ecosystem, I would think. So I guess I'm good. I'm just gonna claim my money. Research passive income to the maximum level. I can do that. How do I do that? Oh, by clicking this. There, I did it. <laughs> Give me money. Hey, I got three stars. That's exactly what I wanted. Back to the camp. What's up, you dirty hippies? You did a great job. Now we can leave this lake with good conscience. People from Galavere muni municipality called, apparently. Neglected barrels of toxic waste have affected one of their lakes. They need our assistance. That's horrible. I hope some life remains. Nature can handle a lot on its own, but drastic changes like that is probably too much. We should go there right away. Sweet. Now it's all spooky and there's a moose on top of our RV. It took longer than I expected. There's not much left in the lake, but we can get it back to its former glory. First, I have a few things that you should look at to be better prepared for what's to come. At each lake, you'll earn stars. They can be spent to further your knowledge. I knew that I was doing something amazing. Each of us have different expertises and will grant you different perks and understandings of the environment and animals. Hover over me and click the button with the light bulb to open my improvements tree. Alrighty, click. That's a lot of things. Unlock research increased reproduction income. Ooh, sexy time. And now I have two more so I can do one of these. Lower cost of increased reproduction income and lower cost of passive income. I don't know, the passive one? Probably? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how this works. Okay, I guess we can play now. Difficulty medium. This lake looks terrible. High toxin levels and low oxygen levels. Samira from the ring has put up some new objectives for you to get started. Does the lake really look terrible? Is it so bad? Which one is the, the lake that, that's terrible? Is this the lake that's terrible? Yeah, this one probably is. These fish, they're dead. They're definitely dead. Okay, purchase and place clams in the lake. Let's do that. Clams. Uh, there you go, clam. I did it. Oh no, there's so many high toxins. And dead organisms and nutrients and stuff. But I got money. Wait for the toxins to reach a healthy state. Is that single clam going to do that all on its own? <laughs> I don't think so. I think I need to actually purchase something. Hornwort is good for removing toxins, so let's give some hornwort there. Uh, there's already some hornwort over here. Get rid of dead organisms and add algae to increase oxygen. Okay, how do I get rid of dead organisms? At least two clam are needed for them to breed. I don't care about the clams. Okay, the clams are gonna starve if I don't do something, so I need to do something. I don't know, do you do, you do the algae? Is algae your food? You want algae? Now they're suffocating. No, something's happening. Did the clam just die? Did I kill the clam? Uh, whatever's happening, the clams are removing the toxins, so if they die, so be it. Hey, we did it. Okay, so increase the lake's nutrients, so I need to give it some, some plants or something. Like, algae is actually pretty good for that, I think. So we'll just plop some. And one more. Uh, it increases slowly over time with that, okay. And we need a crayfish. I don't know why we need a crayfish, but I bought a crayfish. Boom. We got a crayfish. I'm so happy. Crayfish, roll the world. I, I guess. I mean, you could give him a little crown. 
Increase the oxygen with algae. I just put a bunch of algae in there. So I guess it's doing its job without me doing anything. And my clam is decomposing, apparently. Okay, we increased the lake's nutrients. The lake seems stable enough now. Nice work. It's time to make the lake flourish again. I can do it. I can do it, cotton. Increase the oxygen with algae. It's doing that. I thought it was already doing that. How about I just put another algae in there? Boom, we got it, money. Reproduce 15 daces. We need more daces. I can have daces for daises. And they just need a couple reeds and some small rocks. And now they are thriving and beautiful little creatures. But for whatever reason, we have to throw a couple in there. Boom, daces. Now they're going to reproduce. They're going to make tiny baby daces. Have two different organisms with three individuals of generation three. Okay, so as far as I know, all that means is I need to have some stuff reproduce. I'm gonna throw some clams in here. We just need a couple. A couple clams in there, maybe they'll reproduce as well. It adds for another organism. And they'll prevent any future toxins, which is what we want. We want our nice, clean, beautiful environment. Maybe I should increase something. Uh, I don't know which. I can only afford one. Passive income. We'll start there. So I guess I just need to chill here now and wait. Can, is there like a fast forward button somewhere? A fast forward button would be nice. There's otters. I want an otter. Crayfish without food. They don't have food, really? What do they eat? Consumes dead organisms. What? Well, that means something has to die for that to be useful. What? What? I, I can't deal with that, man. I can't give you something that'll die. So that's how we got rid of the fish. They didn't just decompose on their own. The crayfish ate them. That makes sense. But it also means that I need some other kind of fish. I really want the otter, but I don't think I can make an otter survive here. It'll eat everything. They all eat dace. How am I gonna how am I gonna have a generation three dace if the fucking mallard and the perch and the pike and the otter, everything eats them? Okay, I did something. I got the two different organisms of generation three. That's good, because I didn't want to put anything else in there. Hey, I got the one star too. But no battle should be left unfinished. We have to get to three stars because we can. Those stars will unlock us great potential. That's the best way to save the environment. You can't cut any corners here. Although there is a lot of waiting around. Make babies faster! This is cool. I like this. Hey, we did it! Got two stars too! Manipulate the terrain to expand your leg to another. This increases toxins! Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Does this little tiny lake here count? Or should I go for a bigger one? Like, I might be able to connect it to this one. This one looks like it might be pretty toxic. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and do it anyway. Alright, we'll bop, 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 bop. Just dig in a hole. Don't mind me. And... Kaba! I did it! It did not increase toxins either. Apparently that one didn't have toxins. Score. Have a perch population where at least two individuals are generation two or higher. Okay. I have to introduce the perch. The perch like to eat. They like to eat the dace. But that's okay. We don't mind. That's the natural ecosystem. They must eat each other. You'll get one grass and two grass. I bet you weren't expecting that one. Were you expecting this one? Redhead grass. That grass is... Ginger, I guess. And let's pop a couple bad boys in there. Okay, little perch friends. You must go eat the dace. You must survive. You must have the relations. And you must produce. I already cannot tell the difference between dace and perch. But it doesn't matter. Just eat each other. We did it! Purchase pikes and let them reproduce one more individual. Okay, fine. I will purchase the pikes with my special money and I will let you reproduce all you want. As much as waiting seems like it would be really boring, I am quite enjoying this game. It's very fun. I like tycoon sim type games. I really like the Jurassic World game that came out. It was a little basic, a little simple. I wish it had more aspects to it, but it was fun to play while I had it. I, they're, they're one of the few games that I just 
get really into and obsessed with building and creating and creating this life and ecosystem and it's, it's fun. I, I actually really enjoy it and they did a really good job with this game. There's a lot of waiting though. Get that little fish dance on. You about there? Come on girl. What you talking about? You want some anchovies? Nah, you want some pike, baby. Oh, they're about to do it. They're about to do it. Oh, oh my god, yes. They, they, they did it. They made another pike. We did it. Is that the three star one or is there more? Oh, there's more. Further expand your lake to another. Okay. I'd already done a lot of expansion just because I needed more space anyway, but whoop, 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 whoop. No, keep going. I want to keep going. Let me keep going. I can't go that way. Too big of a lake. Okay. How about this little one over here? Tiny lake. <laughs> that counts apparently. Tiny lake it is. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so happy. I wanted this. I wanted this so bad. Where did he go? He's expensive. That's that's fine. Otter. Oh, look at him. I have a dead one. No, I want I want to look at the real one. Oh, look at him. His head is in the ground. He's so cute. Hey, buddy. You're not quite as fast as most otters I've seen. <laughs> you're a little fat too, but you're still adorable. Hey, we did it. Thanks for playing this prototype of Among Ripples. Okay, okay. I thought. I was worried that that was the end, but that was really fun. I would legit keep playing this game to completion. This is really fun. I really like it. It's relaxing. It's got good music. The gameplay is simple, yet it has a little bit of aspects to it that you got to keep track of, and it's just a good time. And that's what I like most about games, just when they're a good time. They don't have to be overcomplicated or have too much going on. I, I really enjoyed this game. So developer, you did great. I hope that you continue to make this game. It is very good. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments down below. You can go to the description and try out the prototype for yourself and support the developer. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Let me know what you thought and I will see you in the next video. Stay awesome!